Coinbase offering Cardano staking, it's big news for ADA holders. In this video, I wanna break down what it means for ADA and how ADA holders should respond. What is up, everyone? Welcome to Crypto Capital Venture. Thank you for coming by. Hit that like button on the way, and it means a lot to me. Let's jump into it. Coinbase expands staking offerings to include Cardano. How should ADA holders respond? Well, the beauty of crypto is it's a decentralized world. You can respond however you want to respond. You can do whatever you want here, right? I want to break down my opinion on maybe the best approach now that Coinbase is offering this service and offering this option. You know, you can see Cardano 3.75. Before we just real quick take a glance at what they're saying here and what they're doing, what's cool about this is, is the... The story that was building on Cardano Twitter before this even got announced. So this is pool.pm the other day. The other day, it was March 21st, two days ago, 23 new Cardano pools with more than 62 million ADA staked each have been created during the last 12 hours, increasing by about 1.5 billion ADA, the total stake now close to 74%. So it's like everybody was online. Everybody's like, what is this? What's going on? You know, is it IOG? Is it Grayscale? Is it uh, Coinbase, right? And then the, the thread goes on, all these pools, this is information and data about the pools, all these pools have 5% margin, zero ADA pledged, and usually two whale sharks with more than 30 million stakes. So you can kind of get a glance of what one of the pools looks like right there. There's a ton of pools, as you can see, and then this is, this is kind of what one will look like, GCN. Whale wallets have been funded two months ago from enterprise addresses. Now, this is where it gets interesting. The strongest clue for now is that the pool's metadata are hosted on the same bison.run domain, also used by bisontrails.co, bison pool, now part of Coinbase, and whose homepage points to, and there's the link. So it kind of became apparent that Coinbase was tied to these pools in, in one way or another. Bison Trails is now part of Coinbase Cloud. There you got it. There you have it. And then today, there's this article, Coinbase expands staking offerings to include Cardano. So I think the pieces of the puzzle kind of fell into place and, and this is what's going on. A couple of things I want to talk about in this article with what Coinbase is saying. First off, this paragraph, while it's been possible for individuals to stake Cardano on their own or via delegated staking service, the process can be confusing and complicated. I just want to say as a Cardano holder, as a Cardano content creator, I have so many Cardano videos, it's, it's ridiculous. We have CCV stake pools that so many of you are staking with, and I appreciate each and every one of you. I really do. I love you all. This is not true. This is just not true. The process can be confusing and complicated. And it's a very broad statement. Crypto can be complicated for anybody that's new to crypto. Anybody. I mean, you download a Coinbase app, and a new user is going to be like, what is, what is happening? What Bitcoin? What is that? Is, does BTC stand for Bitcoin? Like, it's complicated just from the get-go. But Cardano staking, if you own ADA, is extremely simple, especially these days. You know, originally, you, most people are staking with your Roy wallet, Daedalus wallet. Now you have NAMI wallet, CCV vault, or CC vault, I should say. And, and they actually just rebranded their name, actually. But either way, point is the user interfaces to very simply stake your, your ADA is not complicated at all. It's really not. And so to stake with a non-exchange stake pool, a non-Coinbase stake pool is easy. And I'll put a link in the description below just to give a, an overview of how to do that if you're interested and you're not already staking. But then it goes on. You begin earning rewards on your crypto. It's, there's a 20 to 25 day window, which is true for Anybody, anybody that you're staking with, any pool, even a community stake pool operator that you're staking with, a CCV pool, there's a window, a multi-epic period before your rewards start kicking in every five days. And then Coinbase actually has every five to seven days. That's pretty interesting. But then they say you will always maintain control. And listen, I want to say also, before I even talk about this point, Coinbase is, this is good for Cardano. This whole thing about Coinbase coming on board and allowing this staking and earning interest on your Cardano is really good for Cardano exposure. Coinbase is a huge player in crypto. 
if not the biggest. There's so many people getting onboarded into crypto space. It's, it, Coinbase is great for the crypto space and I, props to them on everything they've accomplished and what they're building. But at the same time, when we're talking about niche topics, in this case, Cardano staking, many of you might be aware, leaving your Cardano on centralized exchanges is leaving your crypto on centralized exchanges is not the best idea. It's not the most recommended idea at all. In fact, trending on Twitter often is get your, get your crypto off of exchanges, not your keys, not your crypto, right? So this says you'll maintain control. And that's kind of a little bit of a, you know, I, I just, I don't think that's entirely true. You maintain control when you have a like kind of offline in a wallet, not when you're leaving it on a, a centralized exchange. So I get what they're saying. Your account always stays in your account or your Cardano always stays in your account. You earn rewards. I get that. It's safe in Coinbase. Coinbase is reliable. I, I would say it's, it's one of the most reliable, right? I'm not saying Coinbase is bad or anything like that, everybody. But I'm just saying you maintain control by getting your crypto off of exchanges. So in my view, it is way better to stake with a Cardano stake pool from somebody running a Cardano stake pool that is a community member, CCV. We have five stake pools. And this kind of leads me to my next point. To be Actually, real quick, before I talk about that, where to stake your Cardano, this all happening while the, while the whole Grayscale thing happening, right? We just covered this yesterday. Great, the Grayscale smart contract uh, X Ethereum fund, non-Ethereum smart contract fund, Cardano at the top of the list. What is going on with all the exposure? The big players catching on, I think, seeing Cardano is not just this thing that, you know, is a ghost chain and is not going to del deliver. Smart contracts came out and they worked. And I think a lot of people were thinking something bad was going to happen. But every step of the roadmap, Cardano just making moves and hitting these milestones from the Byron era to, to the Shelley era, to the Gogan era that we're now in and scalability and, and, and governance still just right now, right ahead of us. I think the big players are waking up. So wanted to get that out of the way. Now, in regards to what to do with your ADA, how to respond if you don't want to leave your crypto, if you don't want to leave your Cardano on exchange, you can go to adapools.org. You can literally browse. You can also go to pooltool.io. You can just browse pools. You can read stats. You can, re you can read about rewards. Like here's just the homepage of uh, adapools.org. You can see return on ADA from a one month to a lifetime perspective. You can see how much is staked. You can see all the pieces of data. You can see the pledge, right? And you can just dig into any of the pools that are in the network right now, run by pretty much community members mostly. And you know, CCV right here is on the list. Obviously, I invite you all to stake with CCV. I, I've enjoyed so much. It was last March, I believe, we launched our first stake pool. I've enjoyed so much growing these pools alongside of you, learning about the staking mechanism because it's not that old, the staking mechanism found on Cardano. Uh, so I'll put a link in the description on how to stake, but there's, there's also a conversation going on. And I think it's a healthy conversation at this point about, hey, don't stake with people like Dan, who's got multiple stake pools. Stake with single pool operators. People that are, maybe they're not, you know, they don't even have a million ADA staked in their pool yet. And they're just getting going. They're, they're trying to grow it. Um, there is a lot of opinions about it. My opinion, obviously, I run multiple pools. I'm running a business, right? This is a revenue, revenue stream. My opinion is I'm not causing centralization with my five pools. I really don't think I am. That's for another video. We start looking at something like this. We got Coinbase. That's a multi-pool operator right there. That's a different story. Needless to say, what's so good, and I kind of talked about in the intro, it's your decision. That's what's so cool. You have the power to decide what you want to do, who you want to support, who you want to grow alongside of. And so with that said, I encourage you, if you are like, man, I do want to support a, a single pool operator. I, I, think, I think Dan shouldn't have multiple, pool, multiple pools. Then I'm telling you, go to, go to adapools.org, go to pooltool.io. I will just recommend right now off the, just right off the bat, W-E-Q-N-T, please look into him, Denicio. My brother, Denishi over there, just a single pool operator growing it. 
and just doing so many cool things with it. Um, WEQNT, uh, they're providing solar lighting, right? In, in remote villages, people that need just a light bulb, light. And he's, he's, it's part of his mission and it's beautiful. So he's a single pool operator. There's many that you can look into. Uh, and he's obviously a huge Cardano supporter. But no matter what you choose to do, find what fits you, right? And I, I do want to mention our pools that we do have, 50% of, of our profits right now are going to missions that have a huge purpose. And right now, Place of Hope is a huge mission supporting the follow, fatherless, the abused, uh, that we've been growing, growing with and just growing to get to know uh, the team over there at Place of Hope. And um, I want to do more content. I want to interview the CEO, but that's for another story too. But needless to say, find a pool that you're, you vibe with, that you like their mission, whether it's me, CCV, WEQNT, someone, someone here, right? On, I know Blade, Blade Pool. Blade is a single pool operator. And uh, Conrad over at Blade. But find, find one and, and, and figure out where, you know, where you're just led to, to delegate. But when it comes to staking on a centralized exchange, I don't think it's a good idea. You know, they're offering 3.75 and you can go see rewards of all of these pools, of all pools right here. So do your own research, <laughs> make your own decision, respond how you will respond. And those are my thoughts on, on this. So let me know your thoughts below. Hit the subscribe and like. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.